Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And today we are going to talk about Azure Stream Analytics. And also we are going to see how we can create Azure Stream Analytics using Azure Portal. This is a low code solution. We can enable this service in few clicks and then we can build real time data pipelines very quickly. This is big data event stream processing service. So this is not ingestion service. It is going to process the data which is coming from big data. And there are some other services we are using such as event hub from ingestion purpose. So what is Azure Stream Analytics? Azure Stream Analytics is a fully managed stream processing engine. And that is designed to process large volumes of streaming data with sub millisecond of latencies. We can find the pattern relationship between this data, which is coming from variety of input sources, such as different applications, devices, sensor, click streams, and social media feeds. They are sending the data at very fast pace. And then we can retrieve a lot of different patterns. And using that patterns, we can trigger some action or initiate workflow such as creating alert notification to users or sending some teams to look into that issue or that kind of information. We can feed this data to reporting tools for visualization purpose also, or we can store this data for hot path scenario or cold path scenario. Why to use Azure Stream Analytics? because it is very easy to use. We can just start in few minutes with few clicks and we can create end-to-end -end pipelines. It provides SQL query language so that programmer does not have to think about writing too much code. And we can use we can use SQL query language in some Windows function and some advanced functions provided in this tool to use and build the data, analyze the data in which is in motion. This is fully managed service, so we do not have to think about any infra or we do not have to think about patching OS or any software. It is low cost of ownership. So we are going to pay only whatever streaming unit we are going to consume. There is no upfront cost involved or there is no commitment for cluster provisioning required. It is very easy to provision these jobs. Like other services in Azure, it is very reliable. It provides a lot of security. Uh, it is certified for different compliances. It, it has great performance. It can process millions of events every second and deliver result with ultra low latency. So we can scale this out and adjust our workload also. So this is great service where we do not have to maintain a lot of different things. Let's see what could be the potential use cases of this service, right? We can have a streaming ETL pipeline where we our data is in being coming from different sources and you want to store into Azure storage into parquet format. We can do that. We can have event driven application with Azure SQL database and Cosmos DB. We can analyze real time telemetry streams and logs application from IoT devices. We can build real time dashboarding with Power BI. We can detect some anomaly or detect spike dips, slope positive negative changes into sensor value. We can do analytics of fleet management. We can do analytics for travelatory vehicles. We can also do remote monitoring and predictive maintenance of high value assets. Or we can do click stream analytics to determine customer behavior. We will see some of the examples in some of the video in this channel. Let's see using this picture that there are a lot of IoT devices or logs file or customer data or financial transaction whether data is being ingested using one of the services for ingestion, right? Either Event Hub, IoT Hub or Azure Store Blob. And then this service, we can connect with the, this input sources and then we can write some SQL related query or we can call Azure ML service for different purpose or Azure function app. We can use the reference data which is stored in SQL DB or blob store. And then we can send output in for any other services for alerting in Exxon. We can also do dynamic dash dashboarding. We can store this data into data warehousing such as Synapse Analytics or any other tools or we can store this data into Cosmos DB, SQL DB, Gen 1s and Gen 2 storages. 
if we see another example yeah this example says that we are going to have streaming data which is being ingested into a do the event hub and we can store in blob storage we can do that real time analytics and do some processing we can send in a story into our no sql or relational db for hot path scenario Another example could be that vehicle telemetry, lot of different vehicle are sending the data using engine temperature, speed, VIN, ETC, and in between event hub is being used for ingestion purpose. And this is analytics jobs are running to do the processing on the top up, and they are going to notify either engine temperature is too hot or uh, driver is driving in speed or something like that. Then we can notify that uh, people for that scenario. Let's go ahead into Azure portal to create this service and see how it looks like. So we are into Azure portal and we are inside our event hub demo resource group where we have one event hub which is connected by one client application which is sending some data. There are multiple ways to create Azure stream text. Once we go inside this event hub and inside event hub, then we can go into process data tab and also there are way that you can process event of data with stream analytics and here also it gives no option if suppose we want to do capture data in a daily in gen2 format we can do a lot of different way and if this way is not needed uh, the scenario then we can go with blank canvas and drag and drop whatever we want to do but here we will go with this scenario let's create with capture data with agile gen2 in parquet format and i will give the name like process and let's create now this is the drag and drop ui comes where input and output is there what operations are supported you can do filter regression join on the real time in json so that all we can do in event hub let's put the event hub that uh, process job cg uh, is the new consumer group it will create inside this event hub and what connection string we are going to use that let's see uh, let's use that send policy is only for send so it will not let create our new consumer group so i'm going to use the root one and let's connect that and now we can see the data preview is going to come whatever data is coming so it is coming this kind of data being ct and other thing is being come into event hub and if we go into another yeah, this container is going to connect but default it picks software lake and container will be created as adf job and a storage account key it is going to park a serialization right because we have changed that check in that one so i'm going to connect that and this is that all the details now all is happening right now i am going to save this uh, job and i'm going to start right now we have to start with whatever stream you need how much scale we need that is depending upon a stream unit let's start now and it will be starting this job and if we go inside so in, this is the event hub namespace let's go inside event hub and inside process data we can see now this job is being started because we just created this one this job is being started so we need some time to start this job let's wait for a few minutes and then we will see how it is working and then there will be we will see that this was using no code drag and drop experience we will see another way to create the stream analytics job also let's wait for this start so now this job is running which we can go inside this job and we can see the details preview is not available when job is running but we can go and see now inside detail our lake let's go inside soft which lake where we can figure that and inside storage browser we can go into blob container we given the adf jobs that like this is the name where now we can see this this is the parquet file is being generated and this is what we wanted to see inside this and how it is being created and how it is done now we can go ahead and stop this job because job is going to cost you so we can stop how much time it is running this is one way we can have uh, stream analytics job is being created now let's go into another way now let's click on create we can find a stream analytics job from this place also let's see stream analytics job 
and now we can create from this place there are two options edge and cloud edge is where you want to deploy this into your own premises uh, um, iot gateway edge devices and other things that place we have we been to do we want to do so let's select that uh, cloud and let's select with default one streaming unit and we do not need to right now enable any secure data endpoint and other things we will see later and let's go ahead and review this and click on create so our stream analytics job is created let's go to resources and let's see the different options which we have we have this page where home page we can see which type of cluster is there we can create dedicated cluster also if required right now cluster is shared between cloud and then where our location is there what is the status and other things we have created job but we have not started and configured the job what is the environment uh, multi-tenant or dedicated we do not have dedicated right now uh, what is the storage account we did not add it a story a scale how much scale we need which depends upon a streaming unit and other things the auto scale also we can configure custom and all the details we can configure from here then event ordering how the event ordering is going to justify that uh, event that arrives with late or not out of order events and other things so either policy we can set up the different things we can set up managed identity and other things job diagram is a one preview option came that how we can have right now we have not created any job so that's why there is no graph to show let's go and connect input so here are view field job topology right we can have input source we have output source in between we can write sql write query and we can use functions so that is for basic uh, so basic things we can we have to do inside job topology so uh, in inside input we have event hub we can add iot hub or we can add the blob storage dls gen 2 we can have uh, um, a reference input if you want to enrich some metadata or you want to reference some metadata then we can pick from blob or we can connect with sql data so let's connect with in event hub because we have already event hub then let's see that one okay let's see that this is the event hub we want to connect because this is the event hub where data is coming so we have this event uh, name space and this event hub let's create a new consumer group and we can authentication mode will be connection string because we are not added right now our mi and other things so we will add later for production and the purpose but let's use this one right now let's add output output can be multiple if we can send the data into data explorer we can use the jure function azure snaps analytics we can write into blob we can have cosmos db we can write into gen1 we can write into another event hub postgres sql post postgres sql database power bi for streaming and other things if you want to build any dashboard in real time scenario that also we can do service bus queue topic sql database table so there are a wide variety of services we can connect using that this uh, service so let's go ahead and click on gen2 i will create with the gen2 only so let's put whatever alias name we want to put let's use that soft with lake only there was adf job already but let's create a new adf job one right and we will use connection string because i do not want to go and assign right now inside this demo all this so let's save this output now our input and output is configured in this function we are not going to add any function but we can add in a function from ml service ml studio javascript ud and udfs that four option we have right now inside that one inside query we can go ahead and see the what data is coming select start into whatever output from is um, stream demo little bit different than our uh, sql uh, we generally used to have select start from stream demo because we were seeing but here we are saving going to save into output that's how we are in where now we can filter whatever we want to filter based on bin ct only if you want to save any other details then we can write this query and test query 
and this whatever we are going to do and function which we are going to use that is going to save into uh, whatever output we have given right so if we saved right now if we go inside overview this job is right now created it is not running so if we go inside our lake and if we see blob container let's refresh adf job one right now there is no item right now because job is not not running right now so let's start this job and same uh, we can have a streaming unit and custom which time we want to uh, pick the data but let's start with now and now it is going to start this job it will take a couple of minutes so it says that a streaming job started successfully and we can see the details by going inside our lake and we can see in some time we should be able to see that block block which is going to append and we can download and see this json because we given that on it will save and same whatever bin in city because only two columns we used into our sql that is coming from event so this is what i wanted to show you how to create and how to configure a basic job inside a streamlitic job from multiple places now i'm going to stop this job because it is going to based on this whatever how much time it is running so let's stop this job thank you